Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bradicus Bradicus Gaming coming to you today with a new Let's Play series for Romance of the Three Kingdoms 14. Uh, before we get started in all that, I just want to give you guys uh, kind of an outline of what's going to be happening over the next few months uh, with the campaigns. Uh, I'm going to be skipping a bunch of the later campaigns. I want to come over here and do the Wavering Han Dynasty and the Lubu campaign and up to the um, Hubei conflict. Um, and then we will go out from there and start doing all these other ones and then start getting into all the fictionals. Um, but I, I, I just want to do something early game. I, this is, uh, 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 Chibi is really kind of, um, mid game later. And I just, I want to do something early and I also want to play the bad guy. So, um, we're going to jump in here and get this going. Um, I was going to play as Heejin, uh, but of course, you know, the events and everything like that, it just, you know, doesn't really work all that well. I've actually played a lot of Dong Shuo, and that's exactly who I'm going to play here. So I'm very familiar with this map. I was thinking about Sunsei or Sunjian, but uh, I don't think uh, I don't think I really feel like playing in the south right now. I, I want to play up here. So this is where we're going to go. We're going to play in extreme mode, just like always. And let's jump in. Now, the cool thing about this campaign, actually, I'll let you guys watch this first. Okay, so getting into this campaign, um, I've 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 played this already pretty much. Um, I this is one of the first ones I did when the expansion pack was released, just kind of test everything out, and. Um, you're gonna you explode to huge amount of troops and you become the dominant force on the map so it, this first hour there's gonna be a lot of events going off um so i will tell you guys right now that it's going to be uh you're gonna watch a lot of events so all right let's go ahead and start setting stuff up here um there's no rush with anything here um this is all about just staying alive, which is not hard at all. We're gonna change him out for him. I don't um I don't I want this um I want his um produce the effect of all schemes first. So that'll give us a five in schemes. Um we can put him there, but really right now it's not that big of a deal. And then we can go ahead and start with morale limits. And then we can put a couple of these in here. Just get us started. So, like I said, there's no rush um, to do anything special here. Um, it's really um, just kind of go as you want. It's really easy in the beginning. We are going to march a couple guys out, though. Um, we need a snake formation, which can be him. And then we can take him out. And put him in an arrow. Put him in a snake. We'll take 5,000 troops with him. We're going to take this snake 
and we're going to start going up and we're going to take whoops i want to relay uh we're going to go up and take hong song that'll take him a little while let's go ahead and start a search real fast that'll be fine like i said no no rush on anything we're going to pick up everything as we go and uh, the biggest thing here is uh, just to start building gold and getting everything set on the city. Oops, I didn't advance them far enough. I totally fucked that up. That's okay. We're going to relay there, advance up to there. Okay, let's look for some more employment opportunities. We'll march a few more guys out. We can take him, and then we can take an arrow. That'll be fine. Put him as a snake. Just run him up here. Grab that. Run him up there. Come home. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and start setting all these other areas up. Want conquered land as much as possible. I will put him there. Should be more than fine. Let's reward everybody. Um, specialty we don't need to worry about right now. No events. Uh, administration again. Let's kind of set everything else back up. But we have quite a few points here. Um, we can go ahead and do that and that for right now. We can do those two. And uh, why the fuck not? We'll just put her there. Up. Oh, take her off. How many points am I over? One more. Oh, let's just take him off for right now. Let's advance the turn. We're going to relay him there and then we're going to attack him. Go ahead and set that up for commerce. Keep trying to employ the guys we find. Let's finish our administration stuff. We can just throw her on there for shits and giggles for right now. Uh, there. Okay. Administration set up for right now. Um, let's go ahead and that's all good. Okay, let's go ahead and start searching. We're just going to auto search everything except for overseers uh, within 20 days from now on. Go ahead and advance the turn. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to set up my um, my city government. We don't have a summoner there. He is a drill master. Let's put him there. I feel like I'm uh, just trying to play on um, War Chronicles right now. I'm trying to like reduce my my um, turns, my orders. <laughs> okay, well, that's good enough. That'll give us a distinct advantage. So. Okay, we can just take him, relay there, and head home. Set out. We got about a year until anything important really happens, so 
all it is is don't don't lose the city <laughs> you know that's that's about it Okay, we take that one. Keep building up commerce. So we're partially the way there. We'll get in, we'll take Hongzong, and then we're also going to take Zaitong. Just checking on his morale, making sure everything's good still there. Let's go ahead and set up guys here. It'll be fine. She'll be fine. Uh, we can go ahead and march a couple guys out. Um, let's look at some cranes here. Let's take him up to a level five. Let's go ahead and conquer this area. Okay, search, auto search, good, good, turn over. Okay, we can go ahead and retreat him back. We're gonna let him do his little work here and just conquer this area. Keep trying to employ these guys. We have any other cranes? We do not. We'll get over there and take care of that later. I'm not really worried about it right now. Okay, we're coming in and we're gonna take Hong Zong. I probably should have marched him up with a few more thousand troops. Let's go ahead and bring 8,000 troops up there. Let's see, does he add anything interesting? Speed and development only, okay. Let's march out him a few thousand troops. Let's go in a fish formation, it'll be fine. 
have him go over and conquer this area. Like I said, it's not really like huge. You know, there's not there's not a whole lot really going on here. Okay, uh, we can take him. Oh, he's searching. That's why. Okay, let's go advance the turn. Okay, let's just march him out. Arrow would be fine. Let's just go grab this gate. Actually, let's hit this and then grab the gate. Get under our control. We need to start moving people up here. Um, we're going to move him, her, him, not him, him. Move a few of these guys up there too. Let's take all these guys off. One, two, three. Yeah, that'll be fine. Just to make sure the city's balanced. Uh, he's going to take that from me. Yeah, he's going to get there before I will. Okay, let's go ahead and march him out. Let's start grabbing areas up here. Yeah, right, let's take him in a snake instead. We'll take these guys a while to get up here and then we're going to go in and we're going to take Saitong, get it or start it early. Throw the dummy on that gate. Start him on commerce. Okay, let's go ahead and advance the turn again. Okay, we can go ahead and retreat back. This area is done too. Let's go ahead and start uh i don't know where he's going let's retreat him back for right now okay let's start getting the rest of these areas all set actually let's look at the city first him there there Him. Him. And him. They don't need to go very fast. <clears throat> I just want to get up to at least commerce level two or three. 
So these guys will be just fine at doing that. Let's go to Vance's turn again. Okay. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Take him in a five, and we're going to conquer this area. We're just going to get this done, too. Okay, let's go to advance the turn. I think Titan, uh, Titan Shui is um, pretty much done being searched right now. <laughs> I think it's kind of used up. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and move some of these guys um, up to Hong Zong. That'll be fine. Whoops. Get all those guys up there. We're going to do a bigger search right now. Try to pull whoever's in Hong Song out. He is going dead slow right now. So it'll be a few more turns until he's up there and then we're going to we'll probably get him back first and then we'll start taking these gates. Okay, let's uh, look at our administration again, make sure there's nothing else. We can take cost of area training. Let's do another search on Hong Song. Try to pull anybody else out up there. <clears throat> I 
We're gonna have to run and grab that. Just take Dong Zhuo out real quick. Go grab that back. Okay, he still hasn't moved up to take Zai Tong yet. Um, so that uh, really helps us. Okay. One thing we do need to do here is we need to set somebody up as a drill master, get this uh, morale up. Let's go ahead and reward everybody. We're going to have to continually reward people. I mean, it's, it is constant with Dong Zhuo for some reason. Okay, let's go ahead and set this back up. What we're going to do is we're just going to march through there, march through there, and then back home. That should be enough to get that area completely conquered in. I just want to get the economics as up as high as possible before uh, the events start. So April 189, uh, we got about four more months. Actually, we better start marching dudes out here. Okay, let's go ahead advance the turn. We actually are going to bring him right there. And we'll go up into Bashu Gate with them. run up here and attack this and then we will take Zai Tong We can go ahead and discharge him for right now. Actually, we can discharge domestic city government, discharge both these guys right now so we can start building up a little more gold. One of the things that's going to be really important here is um, making sure that we have enough gold to reward everybody constantly. So we're going to have to make sure we stay on top of that. As you can see here, it's, you know, you're going to have constant... Um, constant drops in um uh loyalty so we actually need to set somebody up on bashu gate i think i forgot to do that
Let's try to get Yang Ren in. Okay, let's go to advance turn. And it's time for us to go ahead and take side Tong. Let's just check our domestic skin real fast. Let's make sure everything's flowing. We need gold there. This is all set up. Uh, we can put somebody here real fast. Just throw him on there for right now. Let's go ahead and advance turn again. I'm going to get him set on morale right now. Uh, we're going to bring up all 8,000 of these troops and we're going to get them up here right now. That should be more than enough. Hey, okay, he is gone. Okay, let's just double check our domestics here real fast. I think everything's set up. It is move, transfer, everybody that's extra goes straight up to Zaitong. Let's try to grab him, grab him. Uh, let's go ahead and search, auto search. And let's advance turn. Okay, things are looking good. Things are looking good. Um, let's see if we have anybody extra here. I think we got a few extra guys. Let's get him out of here. And we can get him out of here. Let's send them up to Zaitong for right now. Let those guys search for one turn one more turn, then we're gonna send everybody extra to Zaitong and start developing Zaitong. Got a lot of work to do up there though. The nice thing is, is that he has such little amounts of troops, he's not a threat. And I don't think he will ever become a threat.
Get him moved up here. Domestic area governments. We need to get these all set. We set Ying Ren there. Set him there. Put him here. Okay, we're going to do a couple searches in Zaitong, see if there's anybody we can pull out of there. But one more turn and then we're going to start grabbing these areas around Zaitong. Well, you know what? I forgot to set somebody up to do recruitment here, which we do need to do. You set him up like that. Okay, let's uh, let's start marching out and grabbing shit. A couple snakes here, be fine. Let's run him out over there. Grab that. Have him run. Grab this. Enter. Have him run out. Grab that. And return. Okay, the death of Emperor Ling is going to happen really soon here. Okay, uh, let's do our employments. We'll pop that event off at the end. <clears throat> Everything's set. Everywhere is set. Let's go ahead and pop this event off. I'll let you guys watch it.
Okay, and then the next event we're going to be looking is the elimination of the uh, eliminate the Unix. Um, this will pop in a few turns. Let's go ahead and enter search. Okay, let's set up the rest of Zaitong here. I think we can replace somebody here. Let's go ahead and set up somebody like yeah let's put him there that'll be fine okay let's go ahead and uh oh volunteers nice we just skip the rest of that. I don't think I started my timer for this video either. I need to look at how long I've been playing. Uh, yeah, we got about 15 more minutes. It's Vance's turn. And really in Zaitong, we don't need to do a whole lot more than that. We got three cities started and then we're going to get ready for, um, let's go ahead and search Zaitong thoroughly here. I want to get uh, these guys in. We got to get ready just to uh, take over Heijin's forces. So one of these events is going to give me all of this. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to retreat from these cities right here. You can try to hold them. But to be honest, it really just is not worth the time to try to hold these cities. You have to move, you, you really spread yourself out if you try to do that. And uh, it doesn't feel right <laughs> to do it that way, to be honest. So it's uh, it's uh, not, not that great. I tried to hold all of them and it was just constant battling and it just really was not worth the time. Okay, um, that's good, 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 good. Now, what we do need to do is we do need to put a thousand troops in each of these gates, but we'll do that at a different point, so. That's not good. Let's go ahead and execute this. Okay, all my alliances were just extended. Uh, we do need to do something about the, um, we need to discharge both these guys. I need this gold uh, to come up. I need to reward these guys. Uh, 
And let's search Zaitong thoroughly again. Everybody who's within uh, a day here. And that is to get some gold, so I'm not losing a bunch of loyalty on these guys. Okay, let's go advance the turn. We'll let that build just a little more <clears throat> and then we'll switch them over to um, switch them over to doing the um, agriculture. Okay, uh, we are at turmoil and we are going to take over Heejin's forces. Okie dokie. <clears throat> so we've gained almost everything. So what we need to do first is start transporting troops out immediately. Uh, we're just going to leave a thousand in each, but we're going to be taking all of the gold. Um, let's see, take uh, 13,000 gold, 35,000 troops or supplies, and we're starting in for yang immediately
The only one we're going to wait and hold on to is Chin Lu for right now. <clears throat> and we will uh, empty that out later. Okay. Uh, so one of the first things we need to do is we need to take down Wu Wei. Um, but we do need to support Zai Tong. We need a lot more troops up here because what I would do want to do... In fact, actually, we're, just, we're going to end the video, but... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to dump everything out of these cities. Okay, we're going to retreat completely back. <clears throat> this will give one of these forces an advantage in this area. Okay, and they're just going to squabble. Because they're not going to be big enough to compete with us. We're going to lose Chin Lu at some point. <clears throat> this is going to go to Tao Tao. The only reason I'm leaving a thousand troops in these is just so that nobody just walks up and, and takes it before I'm ready. Um, we're going to hold on to this city and then what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to back out a bunch of troops. We're going to start moving them up to Zaitong, uh, and I'm going to take out the Western half of the map as soon as possible. We're going to have more than enough troops to attack up here. Um, it'll be perfectly fine and we'll get a lot done. So, um, that's it. That's it for this video. Um, we will start doing all of our economics and get everything else set here shortly. Uh, until that happens, uh, we will just hold on to what we have. I got to move. There's a ton of guys up in, um, 115 guys up in Lu Yang. We got to spread them out throughout the map. I'm going to start searching, searching, searching everywhere, pull every single officer I possibly can. And, uh, then once we have our domestics kind of all set by that time we should have uh you know troops at least up here heading to Zaitong. and then what we're going to do i want to have about forty thousand troops and then we're going to take shangdu and from shangdu we'll be able to start pinging out and taking all these other cities i just want to take him down so i don't have to fight this later that's the whole reason why i went into Zaitong early is because I want to wipe this force completely off the map. I'm gonna be a little bit stretched on officers because he doesn't have very many officers, but um, you know, to, to occupy all these cities, but Shangdu is gonna be a huge city uh, later on and it's gonna give me enough power to start pushing in down into Sunjian and taking out the south. And then what we're gonna do from the north is Lu Yang is gonna have tons of troops in it. We're gonna start moving all these troops around um, we're going to take out um, Matang over here, and then we're going to take out um, uh, Tao Tao, and we're going to move in and we're going to knock out anybody in this area. So for right now, though, we're just going to give up Zhu Chang, we're going to give up Chin Lu, we're going to give up um, Pu Yang and Yi. We're just not going to hold them. We do not have enough troop power up here to even try to hold this city. This is going so, you know, you have to have 40,000 troops and we're not going to send up 40,000 troops to try to defend you. We can grab it later. It's no big deal. We're so much more powerful than everybody that it's just going to be really, really easy to go back up and take it later. But so we're going to do just, you know, go into central China and go in and knock this out. And then what we're going to do is we'll collapse in on Sun, uh, Sun Jian and we're going to wipe him out because he's the next big threat. Everything else is really small and we don't have to worry about him. Sun Jian though is a concern. He's If we let him just go ham, he will eventually become a powerful force and we want to avoid that. And that's why we also need to take out uh, Leo Yan is because eventually he will become a powerful force if we do not go on and uh, invest in taking this area. So, all right guys, go ahead, like, subscribe, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Take it easy.